This is such a great comment and I wanna reiterate, it's so important to know what you're getting yourself into when you sign up for surgery. Back surgery is notorious for having failures. I mean, how many people have you ever heard the story of, well, I had back surgery and I wish I never would have had it or I had back surgery and it didn't work at all. It's because the spine is very complex. You have to make sure that the right surgery is being done for the right diagnosis. And not even that, making sure the right surgery is done on the right patient with the appropriate expectation. There's so many risk factors that go into failure of spine surgery that I think are often overlooked by the majority of surgeons. In my opinion, there are four major risk factors for failure of spinal surgery that are often overlooked by doctors. Number one is nicotine use. Nicotine can cause failure of a spinal fusion up to 50% of the time. I can't even begin to tell you how many patients I've seen in my practice that had surgery actively smoking and that their doctor never even told them that that was a risk factor. Number two is diabetes. I see so many times that an A1C is not checked preoperatively on a patient. And if they have an uncontrolled A1C, the risk of failure from any surgery is high. An uncontrolled A1C will cause the body not to be able to heal itself normally. And for spinal fusion surgery, that can have devastating consequences. Number three is osteoporosis. I cannot tell you how many patients that come to my office that have not had a screening bone density test. I can venture to say up to 90% of people I see have never had a bone density test. If we're operating on someone's bones and the bones are soft, I compare it to putting a screw in drywall, it will not hold. Don't get me started on the number of patients I've seen with a history of compression fractures that's never had a bone density test done and they've never been treated for their osteoporosis. And lastly is weight. I know it's a really hard subject to talk about because patients that are overweight are gonna be at increased risk for back pain. Being overweight and having back pain, it's going to be hard to exercise to lose weight and that's why nutrition is so important. I tell my patients that up to 80% of weight loss is actually nutrition and has nothing to do with exercise. If we try to do surgery on someone that's overweight, they may not heal the same way because there are different stresses on the body, especially the lower back. The disc of reherniation or failure of a spinal fusion is also high. So I think as a surgeon, choosing the patients for the right surgery talking to patients about things that are hard to talk about, smoking, being overweight, those things you have to talk about to patients. You have to explain why those are risk factors and how we can potentially mitigate those going into surgery to make sure that whatever surgery we perform is successful. That's a key to a good surgeon. If they haven't talked to you about these risk factors, please get a second opinion. Any surgery that I recommend to someone, I want to make sure that their surgery is a success.